lights, turn them on. Really, you're not going to turn your fucking lights on? In this fucking weather, why the fuck would you not think, oh, okay, and you, lights. No, nothing. Obviously they want to just get fucking hit by another car. Any more than about 50 metres and you can't see a fucking car. If there was ever time to have your fucking lights on, it would be now. Lights, come on, turn them on. Nope, you're a cunt as well. See, someone's sensible, they've got their fog light on in front. I am soaked. I am actually fucking soaked already. That lens must be fucking misty as hell now. Well, I guess I'm doing a vlog today then, because fuck it, I ended up doing one, so... Hi, guys. Yeah, this isn't what you'd call riding weather, exactly. But you know me, all-weather rider. I'm regretting it today, because it is fucking dangerous. I mean, visor keeps bogging up, can't see shit. Loads of people just don't think they need their fucking lights on. I mean, look at that, you literally can't see anything. It's not even like it's early in the morning, it's nearly half past nine. For the last few days it has been really foggy in the morning, but only up until like half seven, at the latest. Oh, gotta keep cleaning that lens, clean your eyeballs. And yes, I've managed to do something which I haven't been able to do in a very long time. I got some sleep, and I mean fucking good sleep. I slept for 12 fucking hours. I don't remember the last time I got more than about seven hours sleep. Oh my god, this fucking visor, the lens, my mirrors, I can't see anything in my mirrors. Lights. I'm guessing this video is mostly going to be me shouting at people to turn their lights on. But why wouldn't you have your lights turned on? You can see that you can't see anything. You know it's bad when you can actually see that you can't see. I actually struggled to start the bike when I was coming out because it was so fucking cold. I wish this dash had a temperature gauge on it or something because well, it's got an engine temperature gauge. This engine does heat up very quickly. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But I wish it had like a outdoor temperature gauge thing because I can't feel my fingers. It's got to be below six. I've been riding for 10 minutes, I can't feel my toes, and I can't feel my fingers. But the main reason I'm actually riding is because this bike goes in for its service tomorrow. The 600 mile service. And I told them that I would be over 600 miles, and they said, oh, it'll be fine, just don't go stupidly over. Currently, I'm on 583.5 miles. I will not be proved wrong. I will want to hit 700 miles by tomorrow morning. Last second indicating. Nice one, buddy. You penis. I somehow get the feeling summer has ended and winter is upon us. I don't know what gives me that feeling, but it's just a hunch. Can't even see the other side of the car park. <laughs> oh, this thing is hard to walk backwards. In fact, oh, that's easier. Right, I'll be back in a bit. Turns out I am actually an idiot. I picked up my other bag. The one I don't use for work. The one that doesn't have my fucking money in it, or my card, or anything. Oh. Right, I'll ride home, pick the money up, and come back. 
Oh, but the day can only get better. Or worse. Or it could just stay the same. Yeah, not my smartest moment ever. I'll tell you what, it is fucking slippery as hell out today as well. I'm having to be so careful around corners. It's too cold for the tyres to even get any heat in them, so they're not gripping. Look at these fuckwits. All three cars in front of me don't have their lights on. What the fuck is wrong with people? Oh wait, two of my Audis, that explains it. Van didn't have any lights either. Nor do you. Lights! I mean, you don't really need your fog light on. It's probably a good idea, but it's not you need it. But the bare minimum you need is your fucking headlights. I keep forgetting to clean the lens on the camera as well. So you probably can see even less than I can. Actually no, you can probably see the same amount that I can. Because my visor is steamed up on the inside, misted up on the outside. Oh, I can't see shit. <laughs> So what I'm also going to do when I get home, I'm going to put my winter gloves on. Well he was on my side of the fucking road. I might not come back out, I might just go home and cover myself in duck in bubble wrap. Duck take my duvet to my wall and just stay in there. It's dangerous out here. This is one of the more dodgy rides I've done. And I've had some dodgy rides. If you ever get home one day after lights and you, lights, where are they? Yeah, do you ever get home after a ride out on your bike and just sit down and think, how the fuck did I make it home alive? Because you've been doing some really, really dodgy shit. I've had a few of those. Not saying I'm a really dodgy rider, but we all have one of those moments at least, don't we? I literally can't see jack shit with the visor down. But because of the visor on it, with these bits, they're at eye level. It doesn't go up any higher than that, and it only goes up halfway. So I'm looking through the bottom of my visor. I've either got a ride like that, which there's no point having the visor open for, or like that, which is just fucking uncomfortable as hell. And also you're just looking at the sky. Okay, I think I just saw four cars without any lights. One, two, now it's just two. I'm gonna count it as I was right because there were four lights that weren't turned on. I understand this is a 20 limit and there are speed bumps, but we're doing nine. Are you going yet? Nope. Okay. If you're not going, at, going across the crossing, don't make all the kids stand at the crossing. Oh my god. My fan just came on to cool my engine down. How? How has it got hot enough in this weather to need cooling down? Surely just the air hitting it is cold enough. Anyway guys, cheers for watching this impromptu vlog, which is basically me shouting at people for not having their lights on. How many people have I seen without their fucking lights on today? Too many is the answer. Cheers. Well, that was good. It wasn't the best place to stop, but he checked it was clear for me and told me it was safe. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go because I didn't plan on doing this. 
and if I stay any longer, I'm going to start really shouting at people and what is up with traffic lights? That is the third one in the last month that's just gone red, green, red, like right in front of me and then back to green. I don't fucking know. That's not how you use a fucking roundabout. I'm going to go before I kill someone. Catch you next time.